Hey guys, welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. We are down here with this strange HK protocol droid. There's also the maintenance officer lying on the floor. He died um, some time ago. And unfortunately, he's the only one who has the voice imprint for us to get through to the next stage. Uh, we haven't explored this room yet, so we're going to have a look at these broken droids here. Let's grab the components and uh, grab these components. And we're going to grab these components as well. Beautiful. There's also a workbench here uh, where we can upgrade items. I don't think we have anything to upgrade at the moment, but we can create some items. There's some computer spikes here. Let's go and grab a couple of those. They cost 12 components, and uh, we've got four of them now in our inventory. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And there is a plasteel cylinder here as well. So let's open this and have a look. Aha, uh -huh. we have a sonic imprint sensor, and that sounds like exactly what we need. Let's grab these items here. With the protocol droid's help, I've finished work on the sonic imprint sensors. I've installed them in the mining droids, but I'm locking up the original here to prevent the other miners from using its ability to record and playback voices to override the droid's voice print protocols. Okay, so we do have a, um, a voice print sensor that we can use here. Greetings. It is a pleasure to see you intact, Master. Greeting. Okay, um, what's that body there? And, sir, that is all that remains of the maintenance officer, Master. At the end, he was quite incoherent from the pain. Okay. I heard his dying screams as the droids he tended turned on him, mining him like a piece of asteroid rock. Uh, did he say anything at the end? Recitation? Oh, yes, Master. The record of his last moments were... Five droids, running through the outer door. They're, they're forcing their way into the bay. Please, someone! They, oh, oh no, they're, they're through! Oh, my leg! They're running through my leg! I, oh, stop! Stop, please! Addendum. His remaining attempts at communication are variations in decibel master, ranging from... Okay, we get the idea, but um, he seems to be able to replicate his voice, which means he should be able to play back the, the code. Objection. Master, to commit such an act would be in violation of the ethics programming most droids are believed to possess. I am afraid there is nothing that can be done. Okay, um, we may be able to trick him into saying the code. The fact that you can mimic voices is pretty impressive. What would it sound like if you did speak the code to the console? Or we could say, I understand if your limited functionality prevents you from mimicking the maintenance officer's voice accurately. Um, so we could try and uh, play on his ego there a little bit. Let's try with the let's try the first one. Um, let's try and uh, stroke his ego a bit. It's pretty impressive. What would it sound like if you did speak the code to the console? Proud answer, master. I believe my vocabulator is working adequately enough to accommodate your request. A recitation. Maintenance control voice print ID R1B5. There. Was that sufficient, Master? Yes, that's all I need. Confused query. I am sorry, Master. Were you speaking to yourself? Okay, so we've got the voice print that we need. Um, let's head through. I'm going to save the game here in a new slot just in case there is something nasty out there and uh, let's head on out see what we can find um, looks like there's a couple of droids ah oh, they are attacking me let's head back here are they gonna come at me one by one I could use the stealth uh, to walk past them or I could just take them out one by one. Um, I kind of, I kind of have the feeling that I want to want to take them out one by one here. There we go. It's one down. Let's check the remains. Minor sonic detonator. Let's go and grab. Oh oh oh! Can't see me here at the moment. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, it poisoned me. That's kind of nasty there. Oh, I've got to get out of here. got to get out of here. Woo! HK-47, you got to help me out, buddy. Oh, I'm, I'm dying, I'm dying. Woo! Let's use a couple of med packs here. Uh, I need... Uh, actually, if we level up... <coughs> I wonder if that's going to heal the, the poison 
uh, that we have here. Let's go and have a look at our skills. Uh, computer use, 6. Stealth, 4. Persuade, 6. And um, security and treat injury. I guess we'll do it that way. Okay, we get, we get some feats as well. Let's go and have a look at this. Is there poison immunity somewhere? That would be pretty good. Uh, we've got the flurries here as well. Uh, improved two weapons fighting. We don't have two weapons at the moment. Uh, improved critical strike. Uh, maybe the flurry would be good. Uh, what else do we have access to? Power attacks, conditioning... Um, bonuses to saving throws would be good as well. Plus one attack bonus with melee weapons, that would be good. And uh, we have some extra stuff here that wasn't in the, the first game. Precise shot one, two, three, four, and what is this? The damage done with the ranged weapons is pretty good. And what is this one? Unarmed specialist. Hmm. Okay, we have an armed specialist here as well. Huh. That sounds really good. Stealth run. Sounds really handy. I'm not sure. I'm not going to use it right now. 10% faster than normal sounds really good as well. Uh, do I want to go with double um, double weapons? Let's for now just go with uh, a focus on melee weapons. Let's add that feat. And I'll figure out what I want to do later, whether we're going double or single. Uh, we get to add a power as well. Heal would be fantastic. We need to be level 6. I think I'm only level 2. Uh, force Aura. I've got Stun at the moment. Uh, wound is a dark side power. Stun Droid. Looks like there are a lot of droids here, so let's go to let's go for stun droid, and we're going to accept that, and we're going to close. I don't know how to get rid of this poison actually. I don't know how long this poison lasts. Is it is is this the end of me? Oh no, there we go. It, the poison has run out. Um. Can I throw a sonic grenade at this guy? There we go, that worked. That worked very, very well. Uh, if we have... Uh, if we get poisoned, is there anything that we can make? Let's have a quick look at the workbench. Uh, let's see if we can make some items here. No, we can only make repair kits. Uh, we can't even make medipacks here. Well, let's have a quick look. Oh, we can do other stuff here. Okay, what can we do? Armor. Our sound dampening overlay. Armor weave underlay, 10%. Okay, there's a lot of underlays that we can make here as well. Uh, we can make the make the, uh, the scope, the power pulsator. Uh, what melee can we do? The basic iron art edge, I think I've got one of those already. But I don't have an upgradable uh, weapon for that. Uh, massive criticals, one to three. Hmm. And the Iron Art Edge for attacking droids. Uh, we can get some lightsaber stuff as well. Okay, so we're going to have a look at that later. There's lots of stuff that we can build. Um, I'm pretty sure I do already have the Dianite Edge, but I don't think we can... Yeah, I have no upgradable melee weapons at the moment, so we're going to have to figure that out a little bit later. Let's quickly save the game here, because um, those droids are pretty nasty. I guess I could go into stealth and just go and have a look and uh, see what's out here. But the, the grenade worked really well there. There are some remains uh, on that droid, though. There's a few more... Let's go and grab these remains, uh, first of all. It shouldn't expose me. Droid Flamethrower. Okay, that's something good for T3 and 4. Let's go and use a sonic grenade here. P 
Beautiful. Okay, those sonic grenades worked really well. I'm sure at a later date we can go and buy some more. Sonic detonators there. Let's go and grab these items. Um, and let's have a quick look and see what else is over here. Nothing. There is a damage door. Uh-oh. I'm actually going to use it. Oh, I could use stun on this. Let's... Whew. They work really well. <laughs> they work really well. Um, okay, but I did have the option of stunning that droid. Ah, this is damage. Let's have a quick look at the map and see where we are. It's getting a little bit confusing here. This is where we came from. Uh, I don't know what's through here. I can try and bash it down. Is it going to work or not? Actually, we've got a weapon uh, that should be able to open this door. If we go here and use the... No, what was it? Oh, it's this one here. The plasma torch. Um, I can't remember what the... Um the button is to switch weapons. Let's go for the plasma torch. There we go. And uh, see if we can bash through this door with the plasma torch. There we go. Beautiful. Fantastic. And is it one, two, three to change weapons? I'm really going to have to look that up uh, between episodes. Um, I can't remember how we change weapons. I know there is a, a button for it. Let's go heavy mining laser. Let's go and change this for the vibro cutter. Okay, we're doing pretty well here. Oh god, what is that? Let's go and stun droid. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Oh, it didn't work. Did that not work on him? I was being healed up. Uh, we need to use a med pack as well. Um, he's being healed up, actually, by something out here. Oh, God. Let's run. Let's run out here. If I can take them one at a time. These droids are actually... Oh, oh God. Whew. That flamethrower is very nasty. It's very nasty. Um... I'm running out of my force power as well. Is this still... I'm running out of grenades as well. Although these grenades are really, really good to use. Very effective. Um, let's go and... Stun this droid. Uh, didn't work. I think this thing, this thing here is... There we go. We took it out, although it did explode at the same time. Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, the little round droids uh, seem to heal up, seem to repair the other larger ones. Um, I'm not going to worry about that door. Come to the same place. There is nothing in here, is there? Was that a complete waste of time? I think that was a complete waste of time. There appears to be absolutely nothing in here. Uh, let's continue through. There are more doors. There's a turbo lift there. Let's have a quick look and see where we are. Turbo lift to the administration level. Is that where we want to get to? I wouldn't mind seeing what's on the other side of this corridor as well. Um, okay, the turbo lift is there. We've got a door here. Let's have a look in these doors. This is a storage. A maintenance station is here. Uh, there's nothing else. Let's have a look at this maintenance station. Um, Paragus Maintenance Console, emergency lockdown in effect. Okay, we can enter the voice print code, check system ID signature. This computer matches the console signature from where the sedative command was issued that killed all miners in the medical bay. Okay, so whoever killed the miners uh, did so from this console right here. The order was given from this terminal a few minutes before the emergency lockdown took place. Numerous safety overrides were bypassed under the guise of issuing emergency treatment. 
Okay. Furthermore, it appears two cameras within the medical bay were linked to this terminal, then locked into place. The camera to the morgue and the camera in the room with the Colto tanks. Okay. There is no record of who issued these commands, but whoever issued the command have had to have full access to the terminal. Okay, let's return to the console functions here. Access the maintenance logs. Oh, there's a lot here. There's a lot for us to look at. Um, let's have a look at the sonic imprint sensor. Finish the sonic imprint sensor prototype for the mining droids. Everyone knows they need an upgrade. The sensor should allow me to issue voice commands to them rather than manually adjusting their routine each time the mining specifications change. I've been keeping the sensor in the maintenance workshop for the time being. I wanted to test it first by recording and playing back some simple voice commands. Okay, and we've got his sonic imprint as well. Ebenhawk droids. Of the droids from the Ebenhawk freighter. The T3 unit looked like it had shut itself down. The protocol droid, however, made up for it. It talked my ear off for most of the hour, asking questions about the facility, the personnel, and so on. Still, it wanted to make itself useful, so I put it to work until its master wakes up from the med bay. It seems to have some skills in speaking to droid behavior cores, so... There's been some trouble with some of the mining droids, so I'm signing off. Okay, so the HK Protocol droid does seem to have skill at um, reprogramming the mining droids, which is interesting. Been speaking to the Protocol droid about the Jedi in Medbay. I thought they'd all gone away or been killed in the Jedi Civil War. The droid told me that his master is the only Jedi he knows of in all the galaxy. And that the Jedi had served in the Mandalorian Wars almost ten years ago. That would have meant that the Jedi served under Revan for a time. That can't be good. Everyone knows that all the Jedi who followed Revan fell to the dark side. Uh, let's have a look at the exchange bounty. Been too busy to enter a log for a while. There's been more and more accidents that Jedi arrived. The miners are starting to get restless, especially Korda. Korda said the exchange is offering a huge bounty on Jedi Knights and that we can make a fortune if we sell the Jedi to Nar Shaddaa. Security shot down that idea pretty quick. But I don't think Korda and his men are going to give up that easy. I mentioned the trouble to the Jedi's protocol droid. He seemed concerned about his master's safety. I told the droid not to worry. The Korda wouldn't... Okay, so that got cut off there for some reason. Uh, let's have a look at the Sonic Imprint Sensor update. With the Protocol Droid's help, I made some upgrades to the Sonic Imprint Sensor, using some of the Droid's vocabulary subroutines. In addition to its ability to store and record voices, it now has the Droid's full array of alien languages, including BASIC. Should prove useful as a portable translator. I tried to make sure the Protocol Unit got some credit for helping fashion it, but the Droid refused. Saying the work was reward enough. I was thinking of installing the prototype in one of the mining droids as a test, and see what happens. Okay, let's have a look at the access log 25315, voice print ID. When the dock officer reported the droids repairing the Ebonhawk, I installed a voice print ID on the droid console system. Someone ordered them to repair that freighter, but I can't find a trace of the order anywhere. If anyone tries that again, they won't be able to do it from this terminal unless I let them. The voice print should cut any user off from the central functions unless I get the code. The maintenance check on the droids didn't help. If anything, the accidents have increased. Security interrogated me about the droids, and they weren't too happy with my answers. I don't understand it, though. These aren't combat models. They shouldn't even know how to attack. I can't help but think, what if somebody staged the initial trouble with the mining droids just to get them all sent to maintenance, and then did something to them? I think security's right. Someone's trying to sabotage this facility, and they're using the droids to do it. But why? Mm, I think maybe the HK Protocol droid did something so that they all got sent to maintenance and then he was able to uh, reprogram them somehow. Let's return to the main console functions. Um, emergency subroutines, comm system, cameras, destroy the console. Let's have a look at the cameras. Uh, containment field there. The droid maintenance area has been sealed by the emergency lockdown. However, new programming has been introduced to keep it from opening even if the lockdown is cancelled. There's no way to shut down the field that you can see from this terminal. This means anyone inside the facility is effectively cut off from the hangar bay. Uh, maintenance level camera. Okay. Fuel line sensors. Hey, there's the little T3 M4 droid. This fuel line deposits fuel into docked starships. Since no ships are currently docked at the Paragus facility, it is sealed. The little droid is stuck in there. There appears to be a damaged T3 unit dumped into the fuel line. It may be your missing T3 unit. Maybe that's where he is. There is also some sort of metal case next to the T3 unit, but you can't make it out. It may have been deliberately dumped down there. It could be an explosive. Uh, let's have a look at the airlock camera. There's some more of those uh, flying droids. Uh, return to the main console functions. Uh, access communication system. 
Nice damage. Let's see if we can run a diagnostic. Let's see if we can have a chat with the other guy. It's been destroyed, has it? Okay, we can't we can't make communication back to the other level. Let's have a look at the emergency subroutines. Check for exits from fuel depot. The turbo lift has been shut down. The administration turbo lift is active, so we can head down there. Uh, the airlock is active as well. Check turbo lift to administration level. Access to administration permitted. Access to fuel depot denied. Um, check the other exits from the fuel depot. Check turbo lift to mining tunnels. Detonation is detected. Venting systems activated. Access denied. Okay, let's check, return to the main console. Let's enter the voice print Maintenance code. Control, voice print ID R1B5. Voice recognition confirmed. Maintenance authorization active. Full system access granted. Okay. Open the door to airlock with maintenance officer override. There we go. The hatch to the airlock is now open. Beautiful. We're going to log out here. Fantastic. We've got a thousand points. Beautiful. Let's go and have a look and see what other places we can get to. Um, there is the turbo lift there to the administration level. Droid control station. And there is another door. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's the hatch there, isn't it? And uh, we've got a few... Those things just explode. They just explode. I guess we need to use uh, long-range weapons for these things. So let's head over here and grab... Um... Let's grab the uh, the heavy mining laser for now, and we can take these things out from a distance. There we go. I don't want them to. I don't want them to explode right near me. But these droids will heal up other droids if they see them. So I want to make sure I destroy them all. And I think there's one more, isn't there? Is there one more? Or is that it? No, that's it. Okay. So this is the inner door hatch. Um, do I want to go through here first? There is one other area on the other side of the corridor. Um, I do want to go and check that out. It's just around here. Looks like it could be um, could be all sealed off. Okay, the containment field. Yeah, we can't get past there. Uh, at the moment. So we are going to go through the airlock to the hangar bay and uh, that's probably the way we need to go. Whew, okay, let's save the game. I think we've dealt with everything pretty pretty well here. We're going to head down and uh, see what the um, see what is past this airlock. Okay. In order to exit the airlock, you'll need the space suit stored in the locker in this room. It should equip automatically when you select the outer airlock. Okay, so let's go and grab the space suit here. Let's go and grab the space suit. Let's go and grab that um, empty storage, I think. Is it all empty? <clears throat> and uh, let's go ahead to the outer airlock. <clears throat> Bruggus Asteroid Exterior. <clears throat> and uh, here we are outside the Pragus. Oh, careful, careful. Uh, outside the Pragus Mining Station, we got some asteroids floating by. Looks like there is a world currently being destroyed uh, over there. And uh, we're going to continue exploring this area in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. See you all again soon for Knights of the Old Republic 2. Bye for now.